Hi, it's Kerry. I've got lots of amazing Indian and Asian wild animals and dinosaurs. Barapasaurus is a genus of basal sauropod dinosaur from early Jurassic rocks of India. Barapasaurus comes from the lower part of the Kota formation. It is one of the earliest known sauropods. It is known from approximately 300 bones from at least six different individuals. This makes Barapasaurus one of the most completely known sauropods from the early Jurassic period. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like animals. My next animal is representing Gigantopithecus. It's an extinct ape genus which lived through the Miocene period and the Pleistocene period. Its name means giant ape. They were enormous, standing nine feet tall and weighing around a thousand pounds. They must have been extremely strong. Can you tell me how many frogs in today's video? The Asian elephant. Most female and some male Asian elephants have small tusks called tushes which seldom protrude more than an inch or two from the lip line. Tushes have a slightly different composition than tusks. They are small and brittle. They can also be tuskless. Asian elephants tend to live in shady forests and don't have to endure the same extreme temperatures as their African cousins. As a result, Asian elephants have smaller ears than African elephants. As well as being smaller ears, they're more rounded in shape. Elephants flap their ears to keep cool and are fond of water and enjoy sucking water into their trunks and spraying it over themselves. An elephant's trunk is actually a long nose with many functions. It is used for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking and also for grabbing things. The woolly rhinoceros lived in Northern Asia as well as Europe. It lived at the same time as woolly mammoths. Its closest living relative is a Sumatran rhino, which I'm going to show you in a minute. It was well adapted to the cold. It had thick, shaggy fur, small ears, short, thick legs, and a massive stocky body, which helped conserve body heat. And look at that massive horn. And here's the Indian rhinoceros. The Indian rhinoceros has a segmented hide which looks like a coat of body armour. Flexible skin between the thicker hide plates allows them to move as a rhinoceros walks. Indian rhinos only have one horn. They have sharp hearing and a keen sense of smell. And here's the calf. It has a special lip that can grasp tall grass. Rhinos also eat fruit, leaves and unfortunately farm crops. And here's the Sumatran rhino, the closest living relative to the woolly rhino. It's also known as the hairy rhinoceros or Asian two-horned rhinoceros. They are a rare member of the family Rhinoceratoidae. They are also the smallest rhinoceros, although it is still a large mammal. Rajasaurus is a genus of carnivorous, a belosaurine theropod dinosaur with an unusual head crest. Its name refers to it, King of the Lizards. This large theropod was carnivorous and hunted sauropods that were small enough for it to eat which means that it probably hunted some of the juvenile members of various herbivore species and may have also been a scavenger. The Asiatic lion exists in India's deer forest. Asiatic lions and African lions are subspecies of the same species. The Asiatic or Indian lions once prowled from the Middle East to India. Now, only a fraction of these magnificent animals survive in the wild. They are smaller and less furry than African lions. The tiger is the largest wild cat in the world. 
Tigers use their tails to communicate with one another. A tiger is relaxed if their tail is loosely hanging. Aggression is displayed by rapidly moving the tail from side to side or by holding it low and occasional intense twitches. The Indian cheetah. You can always tell a cheetah's face because they have black lines running down from the inside of their eyes to the corners of their mouth. They like to hunt at dawn and dusk by stalking, catching and killing their prey by knocking it over. The golden jackal is similar to this one but more golden in colour. It is smaller than a wolf. It has shorter legs, a shorter tail and a more elongated torso, a less prominent forehead and a narrower and more pointed muzzle. The golden jackal's coat can vary in colour from a pale creamy yellow in summer to a dark tawny beige in winter. The King Cobra. Cobras are famous for the threatening hood on their neck. First their ribs expand to make a hood when they're angry, making them seem even bigger and scarier than they really are. They make a loud, low hissing noise. They can spit venom up to eight feet. It won't kill you, but if the venom gets in your eyes, it hurts a lot. A blue equatorial frog. A yellow and black frog. This is known as a corroboree frog. And a little red frog. India has nearly 90,000 types of animals, including over 350 mammals, 1,200 bird species, and 50,000 plant species. Many of these are only found on the subcontinent. These include the Asian elephant, Bengal tiger, Asiatic lion, Indian rhinoceros, and several types of monkey. There are also antelope, hyenas, and jackals, and the increasingly endangered Indian wolf. Here's trouble. Thank you for watching my video. Please share my videos with your friends. See you again soon.